So I don't know if you know, but George Carlin uh, was not a partisan. In fact, his whole thing was uh, he he didn't participate in politics. He made fun of it. And he he knew there was a his joke was, again, I'm going to butcher it. But when when something is a bipartisan, that means there's an extra big screwing coming your way. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. So they took this uh, George Carlin rant, and they made it into a partisan commercial. You want to hear this? Here we go. And we can hear it. We got some dumbass motherfuckers floating around this country. Dumbass motherfuckers. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information. Now, I, I don't know if you see how disgusting this is, but it is. This is a partisan bullshit thing that they're that they're launching a, against trump do you see when they talked about the media they only showed right-wing media as if msnbc and cnn isn't completely corrupt as if the new york times and washington post doesn't push for every war doesn't lie to you on the regular didn't push an evidence-free conspiracy theory for three years so i don't know if you saw this commercial but it's pretty disgusting i don't want to play any more of it it's just horrible that they did this. Uh, I, so I don't know if you saw that, but they, they're, they're, and I don't know if you know anybody who knows George Carlin, but I'm pretty sure he would be disgusted by this. George Carlin did a whole rant about how he doesn't vote, doesn't participate, this and that. Does a whole rant about bipartisan bullshit. This is just a partisan, uh, to use... And so let's remember, okay, it's a big club and you ain't in it. Let's remember, that's Hillary Clinton holding Trump at his wedding, giggling, his, her arm around Trump, we're buddies. Bill Clinton called Trump, told him to run. They're buddies, they're golf buddies, they're wedding buddies, they're buddies. And you're a chump. Here we go. Archive. Archive footage shot by NBC shows Donald Trump at Mar-a-Lago with Jeffrey Epstein in 1992. That was more than a decade before Epstein's plea deal in Florida. There they are. Newly surfaced video shows Trump and Epstein at a party. Jelaine is in the background. Oh, yeah, you're right. There she is. There's Trump. There they are. There's some young ladies. Wow. Looks like it's more women than men at this place. Oh, you think? Donald Trump said in 2002, Epstein is a terrific guy. He's a lot of fun to be with. It is even said that he likes beautiful women as much as I do, and many of them are on the younger side. Trump said that. Uh -huh. Here we go. Newsweek. Bill Clinton went to Jeffrey Epstein's island with two young girls, Virginia Geoffrey says. That's from July 30th. Bill Clinton went to Jeffrey Epstein's island with two young girls. What in the F? In unsealed court documents involving the dead child, sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein and his alleged accomplice, Ghislaine Maxwell, a woman named Virginia Guffrey, who is now publicly accused Epstein of sex trafficking, said she saw former Democratic president Bill Clinton on Epstein's island with two young girls from New York. And Jimmy, I think it's pronounced Guffrey. Guffrey, thank you. In questioning by lawyer Jack Scarola, Virginia Guffrey was asked for any recollection of Jeffrey Epstein about former President Bill Clinton. Yes, I do, Gaffrey answered. He would laugh it off. You know, I remember asking Jeffrey 
what's Bill Clinton doing here on Epstein's Island kind of thing. And he laughed it off and said, well, he owes me favors. He told me a long time ago that everyone owes him favors. They're all in each other's pockets. Scarola then asked if she was ever present with Epstein and Clinton on the island. Jelaine Maxwell, Emmy, another girl who was allegedly a regular at Epstein's house. So it was Jelaine Maxwell, Emmy, and there were two young girls that I could identify. I never really knew them well anyway. It was just two girls from New York, Gaffrey answered, and said they were all staying in Epstein's house on the island. I'm going to think that's a typo. Mm -hmm. The two young girls that I couldn't identify. I never really know them, didn't know them well anyway. It was just two girls from New York. Epstein had multiple ties to Clinton, along with many other big name celebrities, who was a repeated passenger on Epstein's private Boeing 727 plane, which was nicknamed the Lolita Express, due to the frequent delivery of underage women to the island of Little St. James. Gawker released the flight logbooks for Epstein's Gulfstream Lolita Express 727, and Clinton is listed as having taken at least 11 flights. <laughs> 11. That's like one a month for a year when you skip Christmas. 11 flights. In one flight, Clinton allegedly flew with a softcore porn actress listed under massages in Epstein's address book. On all 11 flights, he rode with Maxwell and Epstein's former assistant, Sarah Kellen. Kellen has been accused in court filings of recruiting young girls acting as a pimp on Epstein's behalf. On multiple flights, additional women who flew with Clinton are either listed by only their first name or simply as female. This is Bill Clinton. This is Trump. This is making a mockery of your idea that there's a difference in a statement to new newsweek on friday a clinton spokesperson denied the allegation boing Ex here we go exclusive joe biden and democrats unveiled details of dnc convention you want to know what the details are why why, why? what you're shifting gears on this story jimmy i thought we we're talking ah. about trump and epstein and being the and 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 uh, Clinton and the Democrats being in bed with the sex trafficker and and the hypocrisy of the Democrats using George Carlin to make a partisan argument. Well, the reason why is because guess what? The lineup will include former President Bill Clinton as a speaker at the DNC convention. The guy hanging out on Jeffrey Epstein's plane on his island, 11 log flight logs it's going to be speaking at the dnc convention that'll show that'll show that trump that he's a misogynist sexist won't it grab him by the pussy you have to vote for joe biden because he's got bill clinton and jeffrey epstein's buddy speaking for him i don't know if you remember jimmy how completely uh disconnected bill clinton was when hillary was running when he would not be, he would be kind of stodgy and not be able to answer. Was incoherent. I don't know if you remember that at all. It was evident, and he was so disconnected during the last convention. I can't imagine that he's going to be able to communicate an idea any better than Biden is. It's going to look like a very disconnected, elderly group of leaders in the Democratic Party. And now you know. The rest of the story. So here we are. This is this is what's called a. Uh, this isn't a banana republic. But what what is uh, what would you call this? It's just complete corruption. Failed state. A failed state. It's just complete corruption. <laughs> Jesus. How much do you think her jewelry is worth that she's wearing? How about hers? I was going to say Bill Clinton's suit's about fucking 10 grand. I'm going to say the jewelry, this hair is probably 50 grand. I mean, I don't know. What do you think this dress is worth? 
Now, does Trump rent that tuxedo, do you think, or is he buying it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the jewelry on her wrists, even. It's a special day, Jimmy. It's a special day. It's such a great candid shot such a of great the leaders shot. of our country. Yep. It's neat that they get along. <laughs> Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs> 